Oni of Ife allegedly they say he was in shock as the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest revealed why he can never ever live with Naomi alone. <laughs> hey, you see one thing I know uh, about these people. Eh? You see all of them that are fighting to ensure that when Naomi and Oni of Ife go their separate way, they are just going to be wasting their time and their energy and their money. For those of them who are going to pay Babalawos and Mamalawos too, or even to pay some of the elders to ensure that these two did not come back together, they are not going to succeed. Reason is because their relationship, their relationship, uh, a lot of stories is behind it. First, uh, some uh, Brazilian seers have come to tell us that they are 14th century reincarnated lovers, meaning that 14 centuries ago, that day we are lovers, and uh, something happened that they couldn't complete that love. Now, they come back, uh, they, they reincarnated, but whether you believe it or not, you see reincarnation, it is true. It they happen. I don't see evidence will make me believe, say, this reincarnation, uh, it they happen. So now they have reincarnated, and because... They have promised themselves that they are never going to leave themselves again when they meet in the next world. They saw themselves again. They came back again. And that is why their love is unseparable. Yes, so one thing a lot of people are saying, okay, why are they not together for like two years now? There is no relationship without one problem or the other. But it is still difficult for them to go their separate ways. That is to tell you that they are inseparable. You know? The only thing that can separate these two is death. And it's only God who can do that. Because left for human being, they would have ended their lives long ago so that the relationship will end. But the will of God and that of man is not the same. Now, the Odua custodian, the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest, who have been on their matter for some time now. Yes, so they have been, uh, he have been on their matter. Maybe that's uh, by the direction of the gods. I don't know. But from what we heard, they said he have come out to meet with the Kabiesi. And this custodian, they said he knew they come out from that forest anyhow. You know? And he have spent so many years right there in the forest, living all alone. He doesn't live amongst people. He lives alone in the forest. From what we heard, though, allegedly, allegedly. Always remember that what we share here, they are all alleged information. Before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. I want to thank you for always being here. I want to thank you for your support. And also want to plead with you, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and turn on the notification bell. Okay, guys, let's continue. So from what we are hearing, they said the, Odua, uh, the custodian of the Odua Sacred Forest, who have been the one removing all the pots that the enemies have planted, both in the palace and in the lakey mansion. And those pots have been what has been bringing uh, confusion, problems, between uh, Oni of Ife and uh, Queen Naomi, sometimes they will be going back on their decisions, make them to have been decision and all of that. But ever since some of these spots have been removed, a lot of things have changed for good. Now, the, the, the man is saying that Oni should not forget that there is a tree of life that he took Queen Naomi to in that Odua forest. Yes, so one of the days when they were still getting, when they were. Are still planning to get married. Yes. They said the king met Queen Naomi and proposed to Queen Naomi. But Queen Naomi, they said it took her like three months to reply to the king because she was praying, you know, seeking for God's uh, inter uh, intervention and the uh, confirmation. And I believe she got her confirmation. That is why she ended up marrying the king. A lot of people will say, why would a, a Christian marry a traditionalist, this and that? Sometimes I believe there is reason for everything in this life. And when God came to, the, to this uh, earth, he did not come for the 
righteous. He came for sinners. And that is, if you ask me, that's the same ground the king allowed when Naomi and the only of Ephesus to got married. When you come to that aspect of life, uh, religion. But normally, normally we heard that they are reincarnated lovers. They can be born into different families and different religion, just like it happened. But that, that will not stop anything. That will even make the matter or the, the story to be very, very interesting. Now, the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest is saying that before, during that, those period that the king was waiting, he went to the forest and, and said a lot of things. And when finally Queen Naomi agrees to marry him, he took Queen Naomi to one tree like that inside that Odua Forest. That maybe he might know the he might not understand the capacity of that tree, you know, but he took her there and made a promise, saying that nothing on earth will ever make him to stop loving Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi will be his one and only wife. He said a whole lot of things, and they said that tree have ears and eyes spiritually and it's, it's as good as taking an oath under that tree and the spirit seals that uh, promises he made to Queen Naomi and maybe Queen Naomi too must have said her own too because you cannot just tell me that two people went into the uh, to, two, two people went to do uh, or have a covenant and there's only one person that will speak no I believe Queen Naomi too must have said her own too. And these are the things that the gods have sealed for them. Coupled with the fact that there have been so many stories behind their relationship. So the Odua secret, uh, the, sac the custodian of the Odua sacred forest is saying that the king should not think that that tree is just an ordinary tree. That it is not. That there is no covenant that you, you make under that tree. If you don't keep it, you might be you might pay with your life and all of that. <laughs> My people, see this life eh, in no balance at all. Whoever that must have pushed the king into marrying all of these women or into having problems with Queen Naomi, that person will suffer dearly or seriously. You know? Because that person doesn't love the king. If he does, he wouldn't have fight his relationship with Queen Naomi. Because Oni did not stop loving Queen Naomi. But they, they manipulated him into doing that. But right now, a lot of things have changed. It's like uh, the manipulations are no more effective and all of that. And he has come back to his normal senses. <laughs> Guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And please give my video a thumbs up and follow my page. Bye for that. Love you guys.